right, so I'm digging a hole now to plant the pineapple. I think it's like a 10th generation or something like that. Um, we, we planted our first pineapple plant over 10 years ago probably, and it took a few years to produce, and now we've made a whole garden basically out of that one pineapple. So we just took the most recent harvest and cut off the top, and now I'm gonna put it in the ground over here. With uh, a lot of Florida soil though, especially these uh, neighborhoods that were all made cookie cutter and stuff like that, they kind of just shipped in a lot of really hard soil here, a lot of rocks, so it's kind of difficult. That's why, uh, that's why we have to compost. Now we're gonna get some compost out of here, some of our ready to go compost. Um, maybe just like a shovel full because it's only one pineapple. And that's it, we just take it over here, put it in the hole, and that's going to be good to feed our newly planted pineapple plant some nutritious soil. So now we're going to take the crown of the pineapple and put it right in the ground on top of the fresh soil from the compost that we got. We're going to pat it down a little bit, fill in the soil on the edges. Um, and there is a little fruit still left on the crown. It's not necessary in order to plant it, you know, you just need the crown part because essentially the new pineapple plant will come out from the top here, from the middle, which I just learned pretty recently. Super cool. You don't want to pat down the soil too much when you're putting it in because um, right now after this we're gonna we're gonna water it in. So now we've got a bucket of water. This is actually our kitchen compost bucket and we put all our scraps in in the kitchen before we take it out to the compost over here. Um, so now we're just gonna water it in, uh, especially since it's so hot today, but pretty much every time you plant a new plant into the ground, you're gonna want to add quite a bit of water. Soil is obviously going to erode a little bit once you put the water on there and then you're gonna have to put a little bit more soil on top of it. Um, and just make sure that for the next few days and well, as much as possible, you're going to want to water your new plants like this little pineapple here um, just to make sure that it's getting enough water in the middle of summer in South Florida. You know, it's uh, scorching. It's hot out here, so we definitely want the plants to have enough water to be able to feed off of. And there we go. It's that easy. We have a baby pineapple that's just waiting to grow and a fly on top of it that's so excited that it's here, as are we. Next time you go to the grocery store and you buy a pineapple, just chop off the top, this crown, and replant it in your backyard. And then play the waiting game and beautiful delicious pineapple will be growing in your backyard. Pretty cool.